In this video, I'm going to give you an overview of the best pills, powders, and potions that I've found for pre-workout. There's three criteria that I look for in a pre-workout. The first is that it's got no added sugars, no carbs, and no calories because I want to work out in a fasted state. I do my workouts first thing in the morning, and what I find is that having a full stomach makes my workouts more sluggish. I've been doing a keto carnivore diet for the last, I would say, eight years pretty strictly. So my body is metabolically flexible and I've got no problems working out on an empty stomach. I've got plenty of fat that I can burn for energy and I can power through the workouts way easier without having all that food in my stomach weighing me down. The second thing that I look for is that there's no added artificial sweeteners, especially aspartame. You're gonna find artificial sweeteners in so many of these pre-workout mixes and it's really sad. The other thing is artificial flavors. You don't need that stuff either because artificial, I mean, artificial, even natural flavors can mean literally anything. It's chemicals and you don't want that either. So I'm looking for clean, clean, clean. The third thing that I'm looking for is effect. Does it work? I want to feel the energy. I want to viscerally feel that this is doing something and it's going to help my output, my mental clarity and my focus and really get me through those workouts. These are all stimulants. So my advice is to start slow. Take the recommended or less than the recommended dosage depending on what you know your tolerance to caffeine is, your body mass, etc. To level set. A grande at Starbucks is 200 milligrams of caffeine. So how does that make you feel? Is it too much for you? I personally get a grande at Starbucks and I chug it down and I'm okay with that. I'm looking for the effect. I don't like the taste of coffee. I want the stimulus. I used to drink coffee years ago and I, it occurred to me that I was drinking coffee for the milk and sugar. I've come so far that I'm only using coffee for the caffeine effect. Coffee doesn't taste good. It makes my teeth brown. Yes, there's antioxidant effects, so sometimes I'll have a coffee for that benefit. But other than that, I want effect from my pre-workout. Now, the first one I'm going to go into is my oldest and favorite. It's a product called Pure Pump. I've been using this for years and years and years. It's made by a company called Do Vitamins. And unfortunately, it is out of stock. And it's been out of stock quite often ever since we had supply chain problems. This particular one is lemon flavored. I do not recommend this one because it's got added sugar and it's got a, a, a small amount of carbohydrates in it. So I don't typically take this and I've been looking for alternatives. But I, let's assume that this is the unflavored one and that's what I'm gonna walk through right now. There's an immediate effect from this product and that's why I really love it. If you mix it into a glass of water or just dump the powder right into your mouth like we do and then wash it down with some water, you'll feel this in about 10 to 15 minutes. So you'll notice that there's a bunch of good vitamins in here, C, B6, folate, vitamin B12. I'm not gonna go through what all these things do. I suggest that you do your own research because the more knowledge you have, the more your conviction will be that what you're putting into yourself is the right thing. And you need to learn how to read labels. Part of my journey is learning what all these things are. The internet has all the answers for you. So go out there and do your own research, look up what they are, but I'll highlight the ones that I think are the most important here. The, the ones that are gonna give you the most effect are obviously the caffeine. And in this instance, we're talking about 200 milligrams of caffeine per serving in each scoop and it's from green tea leaf extract. Now that's important because I've noticed subtle differences between what the caffeine source is. The other thing in here, things that will give you benefit are the niacin. Uh, there's only 20 milligrams, but if you haven't typically been taking niacin, you're going to feel that and it, it's gonna manifest itself as what's called a niacin flush. Your skin may turn red, you're gonna feel pins and needles because it's a vasodilator, your blood vessels are opening up. And I think that there's good synergy happening with that niacin, with the citrulline, which is also a vasodilator, and the beta alanine uh, that is in the form of what they're calling carnosin. So beta alanine also stimulates uh, L-carnosine 
in your body. The next product that I want to talk about is Burn IQ from Muscle Tech, and this has become my all-time favorite. Again, like I said, I've been looking for substitutes because I couldn't get Pure Pump. This had been on my radar and I started using it more regularly recently, which is what prompted me to make this video because I love it so much. And I'm not affiliated with any of these people. I'm just giving you what works for me and hopefully will work for you. So this has some really interesting ingredients in it. There's something, uh, I don't want to call it proprietary, but these are the only folks I know that are actually putting this into a, a good pre-workout product, and that's called paraxanthine. And paraxanthine accounts for about 80% of the caffeine metabolism. You'll notice that the caffeine source here, green coffee bean, is listed as decaf. And you would say to yourself, well, gee, how's that giving me any energy? It turns out that green coffee bean is still caffeinated, even if it's listed as decaf. It's just less amount of caffeine, but it is still a stimulant. There's other interesting compounds in here, like forscolin, which is good for fat burning. So if you want to take that on its own, pre and post, it's great to add to your mix. And then phenylcapsaicin, which will help with aerobic output. Grains of Paradise, which helps with swelling and inflammation and also fat burning. So those are some of the highlights of the ingredients in here. The suggested dosage is to start with one. I've gone up to at least five before my workouts in the morning and it's really just amazing. Now the downside is that this product doesn't work instantly. You'll probably feel the effects coming on in about 45 minutes to an hour. So the most benefit that I've seen from this product is after my workouts. I've got oxytocin going, the endorphins are going, the dopamine is going, and this product seems to enhance that. My mental clarity is there, I'm energized, I'm focused on work, I'm engaged, I'm creative, and I'm really feeling like life is rich. And that's the, the feeling that I get after a workout, but just intensified. So that's what I'm really loving about this product. And that feeling lasts way into my day, I would say up until about an hour or two after I have my first meal, my body starts digesting and slowing down a little bit and I'm thinking about a siesta. The next two products that I'm gonna talk about, I came across when the Pure Pump was not available. And the first one that I found, I thought was the most promising because the ingredients that are listed here are the most similar to those that are found in Pure Pump. But unfortunately with both of these two products, I found that they made me nauseous, especially in higher dosages. So while they may work for you, just know that that was my takeaway from it. The first one is a product called Naked Energy. And this company makes a whole line of just naked. It doesn't have anything but the basic ingredients. So it's clean for the most part and that's what I've been looking for. It meets all of my standards. You can see that it's got about 200 milligrams of caffeine and the caffeine is anhydrous, an anhydrous from coffee bean. So yeah, check this one out. Uh, I don't know if you'll like it or not, but uh, just know that it, it made me with an upset stomach. So there it is. It was not a replacement for Pure Pump. I've had this canister ever since I bought it. I've never replaced it, but it's out there. So give it a shot at your own risk. Uh, the next one is a product called Dynamax. Dynamax, there it is. And this has got 150 milligrams of caffeine. It's got some interesting other ingredients. So there's two forms of caffeine in here. One is caffeine anhydrous, which is an immediate release caffeine. Uh, that could be why the, the naked made me a little queasy. And it could be why this one makes me queasy because the caffeine is just uh, spurted into you so quickly. Then it's got something called ZUMXR, which is a delayed release caffeine. And I think that that's a proprietary blend from Nootropics Depot. That's where this product comes from. I, I really love their stuff, so I was willing to give it a try. The other thing that's in here, though, that makes it interesting is methyl eberine, which 
increases the half-life of caffeine by two. So the idea is that this will give you a burst of energy and then sustained energy. But like I said, this made my stomach upset, especially in higher doses. I do still take this one occasionally. I will only take one in the afternoon if I need to pick me up usually no later than than four latest absolute latest 5 p.m because i just don't want to mess with my sleep at night the last two that are on my list do not meet my criteria at all but i wanted to include them anyway and the first one is a mushroom called cordyceps there's a lot of talk about the medicinal benefits of mushrooms and you can get turkey tail and reishi and they're purported to do all kinds of things. Cordyceps has been known for energy. And what I've found is that it does give me mild energy. Uh, it contributes to emotional outlook, cognitive function, immune system, cellular function. Cordyceps has been purported to do a whole lot of things. The one thing I'll warn you about though is that not all mushroom extracts and tinctures are made equal. The ones from Nootropics Depot I find are pretty good, at least they work for me, and they may not work for you. So you may have to like shop around to find the right cordyceps that gives you an effect. Like I said, it's not a pronounced effect. Even in higher dosages, you may not feel anything. It's more of a subtle effect that's in the background. You, you can notice it if you're really mindful and paying attention to how your body and mind feels but not necessarily a pre-workout, but something additive. Now, it does have a small amount of carbohydrates in it. There's no calories in it from what I can find, but it would technically break my fast. So this one, it's not really on my pre-workout list, but wanted to include it because I have seen benefits from it. Now, the last one that's on the pre-workout list is a product called Ketone IQ and i've got this box here so this was given to me as a, a freebie at the biohacking conference that i went to so dave asprey if you're familiar with him puts on a biohacking conference this one has individual shots and you drink it drink this down it tastes pretty terrible but i'm a glutton for punishment so i really don't care about what the taste is like if it worked i would i would take it regularly but the downsides it's got 70 calories it tastes awful it's fairly expensive and the most important thing is that there's no artificial way to get ketosis so this purports to increase ketones but these are exogenous ketones and exogenous just means ketones from outside your body your body makes ketones naturally now if you've ever been in ketosis you know what an amazing feeling that is Cognitively, you are on point. Your brain is firing on every single cylinder and then some. You've got energy, you're focused. You're just able to be like superhuman. And, and this is something that's built into us when we haven't had food for a couple of days. So our ancestors had this ability and it was used to go out and find food when we really needed it most. If you want ketosis, I suggest you do that. 24 hours to 36 hours of fasting will put you into that state and there's just no comparison to what this does is there an effect yes it's very slight so what i'll use this for and i haven't used it in months is an afternoon pick me up again around four o'clock if i don't want caffeine this will wake me up a little bit keep me focused to get me through the end of my day but it's got this what they're calling but Tanadiol, which I, I, I guess increases the butyrate. And I'm not going to get into a whole conversation about ketosis. Maybe we could do another video about that. But just know this is exogenous. The, your body makes ketones, which are way better. So I don't really recommend this. It's kind of gimmicky, and you'll see a lot of influencers out there trying to push this stuff. Finally, the last two items I'm going to talk about are citrulline and agmatine these are nitric oxide boosters so not technically a pre-workout but a vasodilator and they are precursors to nitric oxide your body makes nitric oxide what does that do it dilates your blood vessels what does that do it helps get oxygen blood and nutrients to your muscles to your brain and to the rest of your body to give you better 
athletic performance output, as well as better athletic recovery. It also helps with your circulation in general. So some people will be using uh, nitric oxide boosters for erectile dysfunction. If you've got a good trainer, one of the first things that they're gonna ask you is how's your erection? Because it's a great indicator of what your overall vasculature and circulatory system is doing and overall health, right? So most people who are on ED pills are probably out of shape to begin with and that's the bigger problem. So that's it, I hope you enjoyed this video. Comment below if you're using any of these products and you've seen similar results or worse results. Also comment below if you've got a product that you think that I would like that I missed here. Uh, I named the two best and, and the one best that I'm using right now. Uh, again, I'm not affiliated with these folks, so don't send any hate my way, but check them out. Also comment below if there's content that you would like to see me produce on another topic, whether it's peptides, whether it's NAD, whether it's fasting, ketosis, etc. Let me know. I've been trying it all and I can share my experience with you. Hope this video was helpful and thank you for watching.